Hey guys, Chris from Propel here, and as some of you guys may have seen, we're doing a lot of updates for the 2021 Risa Mueller lineup. And one of the bikes that's gotten a pretty big update this year is the Roadster. You have the Roadster and the Roadster Mix. The Roadster is Risa Mueller's kind of urban bike. It's got narrower tires than the rest of the lineup, and it's a little bit lighter weight uh, for those that want that sort of thing. So it's about uh, a little under 50 pounds. And, but it still has most of the comforts that you'll find on a Risa Muir. So suspension front fork with, with all the commuter stuff on there, uh, fenders, rear, well, rear rack is an option. Front rack is an option as well. We'll get into those details in just a moment, but the Roadster historically has been, yeah, it's just kind of that lighter weight, urban commuter type of bike, I think. Part of this bike came from the idea that, you know, sometimes people need to carry their bike or carry it upstairs or that sort of thing and make this bike a little bit lighter. Actually, having a conversation with Marcus Riza last year, I think, and we were really kind of pushing on that, like, you know, people really need this lighter weight urban bike and, um, you know, they already had the Roadster, but they just made a bunch of improvements to it. And most of the things that you'll find in the rest of the lineup, so the newest motor, the most powerful motor, they kind of don't ever skimp there. So that's the standard motor, has the CX, Bosch CX motor, really one of the most powerful and torquey motors on the market. Um, at least that's legal. I mean, there might be some crazy stuff out there that goes more powerful, but for uh, a legit, respectable product. Uh, I think Bosch does an amazing job, and it's, we tend to lean towards products that you know, use their motor system specifically. But CX is the standard version with the 20 mile an hour top speed. It might be different in other markets, like 15 or, th or 25 kilometers per hour. And they have the high speed version, which is 28 miles an hour. All of them are gonna have the new 85 Newton meter update. So plenty of torque there and really nice option if you just wanna kinda zip around the city and want something a little bit more sporty and feeling a little bit more like a traditional bike. I think that that's probably the intention behind this in a lot of ways that, you know, the tires are not as wide, won't be able to handle off-road quite as well, although some people ride bikes like that off-road, but it's not as intended as say, you know, you get like a, a Delight with GX option or something like that. It's gonna be a bit different. Other updates that they added to this bike. So now it has the integrated Bosch power tube battery, really nice and it kind of improves the aesthetic of the bike. It's really pretty slick. The bike comes standard with a 500 watt hour power tube battery, but if you wanted to, you can upgrade to the 625 watt hour. And this is gonna be available for all frame sizes, including the smallest 45 centimeter, which is kind of nice that they were able to fit it on all those different bikes there. I love the color options that they made here, especially the mix. They have this salvia matte color. Now I'm actually colorblind, so I was having some trouble figuring out what color it is. I was like asked Tara, she's like, it's kind of minty. So I think that's what we'll call it. It's kind of minty. It's, it's really nice. I mean, we could always trust that Risa Mueller has some nice colors. I think they always do a good job there. So they have that salvia matte and then white, uh, crystal white, they call it. Um, for the mixed version and they have a gray mat and a black mat for the standard frame style. Those are available in some different sizes. The mixed version is available in a 45 centimeter, which is really quite small. And I found historically that riders are on the shorter side down to somewhere around five foot, you can fit that bike and proportionally it fits really shorter riders really well. Keep in mind, this is more like road bike geometry. So it's gonna be a little bit different than say like the Nevo, for example, where a rider uh, who is, you know, five foot or something like that might be better fit on a uh, 43 centimeter. 45 is, is gonna be pretty similar in the, in the Roadster model. 
And then you have, uh, yeah, 45 and 53 in the Roadster mix. And then for the standard frame, you have a 51 centimeter, which is their small. 56 is the medium size. And then 61, which is the large, is really more like an extra large. I mean, that one fits riders up to six foot seven or so. Probably could fit even a taller rider, but um, nice range of sizes there, really fit all different riders. But uh, some other updates, they also included the new display option, so you can do the Nyon on there. It's any of the other videos you might have seen, I'm pretty excited about this one. I'm looking forward to doing a video specifically on that display. But um, I think it comes standard with the Purion display, and then uh, you can also do the smartphone hub as well. Uh, for the drivetrain on the bikes, you're going to go with a standard Touring or the Vario. You might be wondering, like some of the other models, is the roll-off available? Not on this one. It's, as I guess they don't intend the roll-off to be as, you know, for this type of bike. Um, I don't know, but uh, I, I think it kind of makes sense. Uh, the Touring and, the, you know, both of them are a little bit more urban oriented. Racks, as I kind of mentioned before, the standard version is, uh, if, or if you get the standard low speed version, it's not gonna come standard with the rear rack, but the high speed version will, but the standard version is an option to add the, the rear rack to it. And then optionally, you can also add a front rack to either of the bikes, which is kind of cool and you know increase the capacity. And it's, uh, it's a nice design as well. Another option that's available for the Roadster is the Comfort Kit. The Comfort Kit includes a more swept back handlebar to give you a little bit more of an upright seating position. And they also include the Ergon grip. So they have the Ergon GP1 grips so you'll find on most of the other models for Risa Mueller, along with the suspension seat post, because as you're sitting a little bit more upright, having that suspension seat post is a little bit more critical. Now, keep in mind, you can also add the suspension seat post to the standard setup, but that's, uh, that's not gonna come by default on, on those models unless you opt for the comfort kit. And this bike doesn't come standard with any additional locks because I think they try to keep the weight pretty low, but if you did want to, you can add the frame lock, which will be keyed the same as the battery, and that also comes with the chain and a nice little bag to store the chain underneath the saddle. So that's a nice lightweight, relatively you know, low security option, but it's good for quick lockups. You just need to run in the store and that sort of thing. So I think it's a it's a pretty fitting security for this bike, but if you want it to lock for more extended periods, I'd probably recommend it adding some additional security. And the nice thing is because it's a plus key, you can also get additional locks with that same key. And you know, that's a, that's a nice way to go for sure. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really looking forward to getting the bike in the shop and doing more of a full review, but I think this bike's gonna be a good fit for those that want a lighter weight urban commuter that's still really stylish. I think Risa Mueller always does a pretty good job at that. And if you have any questions about this, maybe you have the previous version of the Roadster, you have any comments, um, leave them below. Or if you're interested in purchasing one of the Roadsters, uh, reach out to us, we're always happy to help. And um, yeah, we look forward to seeing you in the future video. Well, see you soon.